most people think that watching paint dry is boring, and they're right, unless you use a microscope to reveal the interesting processes happening on the microscopic scale. My name is Dr. Thomas Kerwin, and I'm a Dulux research scientist. At Dulux, we're passionate about delivering high quality paint to our consumers. That means we spend a lot of time using microscopes to watch paint dry so that we can develop a better understanding of how to form the most durable films. A litre of paint contains something like a million billion particles. And to put that in context, that's more particles than there are stars in the Milky Way. The largest of those particles have similar dimensions to a human hair. The smallest are up to a hundred times smaller. If we dilute a sample of paint in water and put a drop under the light microscope, we get a real sense of the chaotic nature of the system. We can see the unimaginably large numbers of particles of all different shapes and sizes as they're buffeted around by a whole range of competing forces. Now, if we bring the edge of the drop into focus, we can see the pressure-driven flows that carry particles towards the edge of the drop and the way in which the drying film appears to almost grow into the drop. As the film dries and the water evaporates, it loses about half of its volume. Forming a durable film requires an understanding of how the hard pigment particles pack and the soft polymer particles deform and bind all of the other particles together. If we don't understand this process properly, then the stresses that can develop in the film can leave it weak or even tear it apart as it dries. Light microscopes are great for enabling us to observe many elements of the film formation process, but they don't enable us to see all of the particles. To image the dry films in even more detail, we need to use an electron microscope. It's through these images that we're able to understand how the different particles pack around one another and how the polymer, the otherwise invisible glue, holds those particles and the paint film together. This enables us to understand the relationship between this microstructure and the paint film properties that our consumers experience. So this series of images shows a matte paint film at three different magnifications. The first one, at about 100 times magnification, is at roughly the limit of a light microscope, and we can get a sense of the whole cross-section of the film and the way in which it's built up of a range of different particles. The next image is zoomed in to 5,000 times, and in this one we can get a much better idea of the range of different sized particles that are packed together to form the film. The final image in the series is zoomed in to 25,000 times. This image we can start to see the thin layer of polymer that binds the particles together. This is the otherwise invisible glue that sticks the particles to one another and gives the film its durability. So Chromalock is the result of combining a fundamental understanding of paint film formation with our in-house unique polymer technology to deliver paint films with excellent durability, as if they're protected by an invisible barrier so that the colour lasts and our consumers can go about their everyday lives without worrying about wear and tear to their walls. So as you can see, studying paint dry needn't be boring. By studying it carefully, we're able to optimise our paints to deliver an excellent balance of properties. 